Hello everybody, my name is Tristan from Plastic on Plastics. As you can see, I'm drinking out of this glass mason jar because I'm an in the know millennial hipster and I know all about BPA, but you might not. So today we're gonna to talk about it. Ah, oh, nailed that intro. So what is BPA? BPA is short for biphenyl A, which is a plastic additive. A lot of people think that BPA is a type of plastic, but no, it is just a plastic additive. Now this additive or chemical is added to various different types of plastic, most commonly polycarbonate. BPA can enhance the quality of the plastic product in a variety of ways. Mainly uh, we're talking about strength and also feel, so things like shininess. Now when we talk about strength, we just don't talk about the tensile strength or just the sheer strength of an object when uh, twisting it or compressing it, but also we're talking about the durability of that product and BPA, depending on how it's used, can help with all sorts of plastic properties. You may be familiar with BPA already because you may see a lot of water bottles that say BPA free. Back in 2008, there was a lot more BPA in water bottles until there were studies that came out that showed how harmful these side effects are. Now, since then, some of these studies have shown that they were unable to reproduce uh, those findings. So there is a little bit of controversy on how harmful BPA is. So why are your plastic water bottles BPA free, but baby bottles have BPA? Well, I kind of mentioned before, BPA is used with polycarbonate, which is a specific type of number seven plastic that is extremely strong. And polycarbonate is often used with baby bottles because it's very clear, it's very easy to clean, and most importantly, it's a very, very strong. Polycarbonate is the same type of plastic used for things like glasses for safety glasses for construction or bulletproof riot shields and making a baby bottle out of polycarbonate means that it's really strong. So for some families, they might want an indestructible uh, bottle, um, which they feel that is less harmful than, for example, a glass bottle that might shatter and, and be sharp for the baby. However, a polycarbonate bottle is going to have BPA in it. BPA is in a lot of products, you almost cannot even avoid it. According to Health Canada and the FDA, the amount of BPA that is consumed by most people um, on a daily basis or an annual basis has uh, little to no harmful effects. However, some people do believe that any BPA is actually harmful. Things like toxins are, you know, the more you ingest, the worse it becomes. If you drink a lot of, say, toilet bowl cleaner, you know, the more you drink, the worse it gets and you'll probably die. But with BPA, this is actually something different. BPA is known as an endocrine disruptor, which means that it fluctuates and manipulates uh, your natural hormone levels, uh, hormones such as estrogen. So with something like this, it doesn't behave in the body like a toxin. And the more you digest, doesn't necessarily mean the more harmful uh, it can become. Actually, very small trace amounts of BPA can actually be worse because it's harder for the body to detect those uh, molecules. There's also a lot of discussion amongst the plastic and health community of what plastics are actually better for BPA or worse than your health. For example, your old water bottle that has BPA in it might actually be better than some new plastic alternatives, alternatives that just don't have enough study behind them yet. I hope this helped give you a quick overview of what biphenyl A is. If you have a question about any specific type of plastic, we've probably already made a video on it, so go check out our channel or leave a comment down below and I'll try to make a video on that specific plastic. Thanks for watching.